So, Chris Lewis, very nice to meet you, first of all. Thank you for doing this. Very nice this. to meet you, Andrew. Yeah, my pleasure. And I would hate for anybody to not know the previous conversation that we've had leading up to this, so I just want to publicly <laughs> say that's an epic beard. Um, <laughs> Thank you, mate. Um, when you left the army, when you... Did you feel that the army had left you? I definitely miss, you know, all the lads and the laugh and that camaraderie that you have with them and the banter and stuff like this, because it's very fine, hard to find that on Civvy Street, um, which is why I think a lot of the boys do end up, you know, being on their own, um, you know, saying that because it's, it's hard to rekindle that with, with, with people that perhaps don't get that sense of humour, if, if that makes sense. So I, I can relate to that. Because <laughs> obviously you're separated from everybody now, but especially you're separated from your own daughter. So how have you dealt with the separation side of, of this journey? Well, you know, it's, it's not been easy, Anthony. You know, I, I love my family just like um, everybody else. And, you know, obviously my daughter, I, I raised her. So to suddenly be with her all the time and then to, you know, have this massive amount of time away from her, um, you know, really has been difficult. But, you know, she's happy. I'm happy. We talk as often as we can. You know, we, we try and inspire each other in that way. So, uh, you know, we are separated and we have been for a long time. But... Yeah, of course, it's not easy, but, um, you know, we're both happy doing things we love and that's what's important. You know, we'll see each other soon. I did the first um, lockdown um, on an island on my own off of Shetland. So I spent three months um, really completely isolated, you know, and I've done some big barren parts of the coastline where I spend, you know, a long time just just me and the dog and nobody else around. And that seems to have always worked for me, just, you know, keeping myself busy, keeping myself constructive, learning new things. Um, um, being healthy was seriously important you know if, like we're in lockdown at the moment and I think health is such an important thing because um, it can really make you feel different about yourself you know as you know Anthony so yeah those key factors for me have really seen me through um, you know real isolation and complete loneliness it really has. Stafford helped you out and you met your mate and you got into a good place at what point do you then go, I'm going to spend the next X amount of years on my own? You know, I needed to get away for, for a while, you know, to, to find myself again, you know, find what my real passions are. Um, and, you know, Safra just inspired me because I, I love the work that they do. I think it's and everybody that I meet on this coastline, whether it be a Safra rep or people that have been helped by Safra, they have nothing bad to say about them. They, you know, they're a wonderful charity. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that, that's how it came about. So that that period where... Me and Dave got really friendly. Um, yeah, it was an absolute no-brainer. Love the work they do. I think it's amazing.